Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, and I had another chance to get my hands on a Nintendo 3DS XL. So I took along my 3DS and did a little bit of comparison so you can see the uh, size difference. I tried to cover as much as I could, but I was limited on time. So there you go with my 3DS on top of the uh, red one. Unfortunately, they didn't have all the colours available. Now I took a few other shots, um, as you can see. So there's a comparison of the uh, width and it actually appears almost identical but I haven't got any exact dimensions in this video but I will do that in another video. Again another comparison so there's not really any huge difference obviously it is, it is bigger um, it is surprisingly lightweight though and um, it has got that matte finish again here's the other side reversed so then here's a quick look at the actual uh, front face and it looks quite nice in red. Still thinking I might like lean towards the uh, blue. Um, but as I said, it's got this nice matte finish on it. And um, although it is surprisingly lightweight, it does feel really nice in the hand. It's kind of been rounded off at the edges. Here's another view of uh, another side of the 3DS XL. And uh, sorry, some of these are a bit blurry. It's a bit difficult balancing. Um, and uh, here's a close-up shot of the... Um, the uh, thumb pad and cross pad, D pad, and again of the buttons, which felt very similar. Although, again, they've got the matte finish, so they do feel a little bit different to the original 3DS XL. So, that's the back here in uh, my video, and just uh, showing you around very quickly around the sides. And um, although it, you know, it's got a slightly more plasticky feel, it is actually surprisingly well built. and. Um, Although it's got a different build quality to the original 3DS, um, it feels pretty sturdy and it, you know, it feels like it's going to be okay uh, in play for long periods of time. So I've got the two um, lined up next to each other, you can obviously see. Well, although it looks physically quite a lot bigger, when you look back at the original shot together on top of each other, there's not that much difference and it has got that massive, massive screen. And so I did a bit of, bit of a trial with the... Um, D-pad here, the cross pad and uh, the circle pad and um, feels very similar to be honest. The circle pad feels identical to the 3DS almost exactly, although the buttons do feel a tad different um, because maybe of the matte finish or something. They feel like that or they appear to be the same size as well. And um, just another picture of them together just so you can see obviously the massive difference in size of the screen. Now looking at the actual screens together, um, when playing a game, uh, Mario I've got at the end of this video, um, they've done a remarkable job really. It still looks just as good um, as the original 3DS. And I think they've got like um, an anti-glare screen on there now, which is great news, especially for videoing if you have to do it late um, in the daytime for my purposes. And it's going to be helpful playing in the sunshine. And here's the Mario part. And like I said, they've done a great job. Can't really tell any difference. It's just a larger um, picture. They've got an anti-alienizing -ali filter, alienizing, aliasing, whatever you call filter on there as well. So it's great stuff. And uh, it looks like it's going to be an absolute smash. So this has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.